Now, forewarn weather with exclusive cutting edge technology to help keep you and your family safe. Well, looking outside, it is gorgeous right now, but unfortunately, that's just not going to stay that way. This is pretty much what <laughs> summer has been. <laughs> I know. These afternoon showers and storms yeah. that come passing through, and so that's what we have on tap once again for today. As we take a look at your weather story, we do have the chance for some stronger storms to develop heading into the afternoon, but for now, that's not the case as we are looking outside at some beautiful conditions, but watch what happens as I put this data into motion for you. You can see how we're going to have quite a bit of moisture rolling through once we get towards the dinner hour. So plan for some showers and storms later. Right now, soak up the sun while you can, and then we have more rain heading into the early part of next week. Temperatures will stay a little more seasonal for the weekend, if not just above average, as we will be in the 80s. But severe threats for this evening are just as follows. So we'll have wind gusts that could peak over 60 miles per hour in some locations and some isolated hail, though I'll show you where that pinpoint location is because this is not going to be as impactful for those on the east side. But we have downpours that could lead to some localized flooding and then there is a very low end tornado risk, but I think the most severe weather will stay off to the western part of lower Michigan. But widespread wind risk, as you see here across southeastern Michigan, then we start to taper it back a little bit when it comes to that hail risk with US 23 being that corridor that kind of splits where we will see hail and where we probably will not. I'm going to zoom out though with satellite radar to show you how that line of showers and storms now just really brushing along the coastline of Lake Michigan on the west side of the state. We're getting the cloud cover ahead of that. Just a good reminder too, when you get a line of storms that roll through, the gustier winds are usually just ahead of the rain. So if you're tracking it on radar, don't wait for the rain to arrive to think that that's when you're going to have the strongest wind gusts. It'll be before that rain arrives at your doorstep. So zooming in closer one more time just to show you Oakland County, Western Wayne, Washtenaw, Livingston, dealing with more of that cloud cover. But if you're in Detroit, Mount Clemens, up towards Port Huron, you still can soak up the sun for a little bit. You see it right here from our Windsor camera. 78 in Detroit, 76 in Howell, 75 in Pontiac, and 76 in Adrian. Pretty light winds out there. Those pick up a little bit tonight, and we'll be on the breezier side tomorrow. But as we look at the hour by hour, I'm going to stop the clock at 3. That's when these storms start to brush the western edge of our area. So Livingston County off towards Lansing, even up towards Mount Pleasant. And then at 4, hour by hour stepping you through this. Maybe western Oakland and portions of the northern part of Washtenaw County will have this, but more widespread across the heart of Metro Detroit, probably by about 5 o'clock or so. So evening rush hour, drive, dinner hour, on a Friday night, if you're trying to do outdoor plans, you're going to need that umbrella. Now, 7, 8 o'clock, we'll get another swath of some moisture that pushes through the area. But I believe by 10, that severe threat lifts. You might have a couple little remnant showers till midnight, but a lot of this pushes out before we see the sunrise tomorrow. So plan for those scattered afternoon showers and some of them being severe storms. We hit 82 around 3 and then those temperatures slide in the 70s throughout the rest of the evening. Looking at your forecast for tonight, southwesterly winds pick up to about 10 to 15 miles per hour. 67 for the overnight low, so it's still going to be on the mild side. Then tomorrow we jump back in the mid 80s and we'll stay there on Sunday. Mix of sun and clouds throughout the weekend. Next chance of rain coming Monday afternoon, as you see with this system. Well, late in the day and into the overnight as well when we have that moisture rolling through. That'll cool us off feeling fall like on Tuesday, low 70s for the high, then bouncing back to 80 the middle of next week. That's your future forecast. That looks good. Yeah, for the most part, mm -hmm. we're, we're yeah. in the clear. Great weekend ahead of us.